There is no doubt that in many parts of the world with improved technologies you can increase production. Nevertheless, you should never forget that uh, soil resources are essentially fixed, limited. You've heard today many people saying there are a lot more soils that can be cultivated. Personally, I have strong doubts about that. Uh, you will not cultivate the Zahara, you will not cultivate remote areas which are too cold or too wet to be cultivated. And also you will not cultivate forests which you want to preserve, like for example the Amazon forest or the Central African forests. So there are many issues there that are not strictly technology related, but more policy related. As you might know, the European Union is just finalizing a new uh, package regarding the approval of pesticides in which uh, in some ways it's moving from a risk-based assessment of substances into a hazard-based assessment. Uh, being a scientist, how do you see the role of science going forward in terms of policy making? Well, for the pesticide actually registration process, um, uh, we work very closely with the European Food Safety Authority in, in Parma, which is the authority now dealing with this. And I must say we try to put inside this type of risk assessment as much science as possible. I mean, if you use solid scientific assessments, you can take also much more informed decisions. Uh, unfortunately, until now, very little science is often used in many assessments and a lot of opinions instead of facts are used uh, and this is a big problem. I think much better data would improve a lot the modeling exercises and the risk assessment procedures which are currently used.